Hello everyone, in our previous video we've learned how to set the required state of the output pin. Now let's learn how to read the input of the required pin. Let's go to our schematics first. So apart from the section from the previous video I've added one dip switch. We have four positions, we're going to be using only two. And also the LED and the switch that comes with the nano board itself. The switching states will be connecting them to the ground and we'll be looking for the logic zero on the required pin. That's what we're going to be testing. Now let's go to the MP lab back again. Okay, so I'm going to copy this project because we're going to use that file that is already there. A copy. Okay, pick pin set. I'm going to say pick pin read. Right, let's copy that. Great, let's make this pin as the main project, pick pin read. Let's go to tools, embedded and harmony three configurator as we will need that to configure the other pins that we have now just added. Okay, that's the bit of the longest part. Now we've got it there. Let's go to MHC tools pin configuration. We've got our three tabs for the pin settings okay let's go to the last one pin settings now okay what we have to add now is starting from the pin uh, PA16 that is going to be my GPIO also pin 17 PA17 is a GPIO as well as pin 22 and 23 that are GPIO 22 and 23 GPIO. Let's name them now at the same time. Oh, PA16 is going to be my uh, dip switch 2. Okay. PA17 is going to be my dip switch 1. This uh, PA22 is our switch. So I'm going to say just SW. And this is the standard LED on the uh, board, so I'm going to call it LED. Right, let's go back and now do them one by one. Dip switch number two is an input, and we're going to pull it up to have the logic one uh, all, the, all the time on the pin. We can use the internal pull up resistors. Same thing for the dip one. Now, this switch, we're going to do the same thing. It's uh, input, and we're going to pull it up in this LED and that state I'm going to leave in out and initial state of the latch we're going to leave it high because to, to switch this LED on we're going to have to drive it low to allow the, for the current sinking okay I'm happy with the code now let's click code here and generate which is going to generate the code for us let's go to the project I'm going to close this file because this one belongs to a uh, pick pin set and I'm gonna go back to source files and open our main one applicable to this project now what we're doing okay let's go again to header files config default peripheral port and there we go our library for the instructions in here we've got all the instructions and the new ones added for the pins we just configured now to read the uh, input state of the required pin. I have to go down almost at the bottom. There is a function that we will use and is called, there we go, port pin read. What this function is doing, once we use it, we have to pass it on the required pin number, the name. In return, that function is given as the boolean value, which is boolean value is either false or true. Okay, so I'm going to copy the function. Let's copy it and go to our main file. I'm going to paste it within our while one loop or while true. Okay, I'm going to make some space now to test this whether the pin is uh, stayed high or low. I will use the while function. Let me just go there and I say while. Okay, I'm going to put this in brackets. So, and 
then I'm going to add the, the curly brackets as well. What's going to happen is the while function is going to test whether this is going to come to the true. If it is, then this, uh, whatever, whatever is in the curly braces, it's going to be evaluated. It's going to be happening, let's say. So in here, port pin read. First, I want to read the pin of the switch that comes on the board. So let's go to the library again, and the file, and let's find out how we can address the switch pin. With the given name by us, we can clearly call it SW pin, which will refer to the port pin and the required number. I've copied the SW pin name. I'm going to go there in the brackets. I'm just going to replace that to the SW pin. Okay. So once this happens, uh, I want to switch on maybe the let's say the green LED. So I'm going to copy that the green LED. I'm going to paste it here before we run the project. I'm just going to clear all the other LEDs on the board so they know they're not lit. Okay, so what I'm expecting this code to do is all the LEDs will be clear, they will be switched off. But once I press the button, and now this function at the moment is saying if the pin is high, evaluate this to make it tested if the pin is low just going to put the uh, opposite to the true okay so once this pin is driven low we'll evaluate this function which is sitting on the green LED let's build and program the board at the same time I'm going to make this a little bit smaller and zoom it down okay now we're waiting for the programming complete nice right so according to our program once i press this button that green led is going to come on and if i release the button it's going to be off okay so this is working now let's test for instance the led on the board so we're going to say led and we remember to set this on we have to clear the uh, the pin okay clear now let's add the functions straight after that that's gonna be saying there we go uh, set which will automatically switch the LED off once we release the button okay let's uh, build and program this straight away and see what happens okay now they're erasing programming complete so now we press the switch button and the yellow LED on board is going to come on and off I'm just going to make a little bit shadow there there we go on and off right let's test the dip switches so I'm going to say here oops not here so that was dip one pin and then for this I'm not going to be using the onboard LED let's use the red LED okay I'm going to copy paste and then once the switch is on I want the LED to be on as well building program let's put a second let's put a second and erasing programming complete right so now once I slide this switch to the um, our on position which will be connecting that pin to the ground I'm expecting this LED to come uh, no red we said red okay this LED to come on now let's slide it there we go it's permanent state is on off on off if we want and our program requires it we can also in here evaluate um, other f um, combined functions we say and there we go control V dip pin 2 okay so now 
what this function is uh, doing is it's going to test if the dip pin 1 is uh, 0 and dip pin 2 is 0 then turn the red LED on otherwise if only one of them is fulfilled that LED will still stay stay clear that loop is not going to be evaluated let's build and program let's test that okay it's building there we go erasing and done so let's test this if I switch deep one nothing happens but if I switch a deep two at the same time the LED comes on so there we go only one that's nothing happens but if the condition is met the LED is on so I'm gonna switch it off now the last thing that we want to do just gonna go back to uh, one um, test and I'm gonna say if the switch is pressed we what we want to do is let's go to this function and let's use the orange red let's use the green LED we're gonna toggle the LED so toggling means that if okay let me just paste paste it here okay if the LED if the program comes to this section and the LED is on it's gonna change it to the opposite state it's just gonna complement it so let's build this and program and by using the switch we'll be toggling the orange LED okay let's wait for it to build program complete now by clicking pressing this uh, switch I'm expecting this orange LED to hold the state and again this is our uh, debouncing playing okay right what, what have I done wrong in here as you probably see I'm clearing the orange LED so I'm gonna remove that function in here make it nice and neat right let's do this again should have probably spotted before but hey it happens even with the simple code as you can see okay programming complete so now again if we press the switch button the orange LED comes on and stays on the state yep on and it stays like that oh this is the bouncing now and off on and it's difficult now because with the 48 megahertz clock the instructions this is millions instructions per second so this is written as this switch is um this is, is switching on and off like a few times a second before i can actually manage to do that in uh, our next videos i will show you a couple ways of uh, debouncing but for now we're just gonna have to leave with this be quick there we go but the function is working so this is what happens that is the function that we will be using to read the state of our port pin thank you very much for this video if you have any questions please leave a comment and i will see you uh, next time thank you bye bye